Hi guys, welcome to According to Madume and I am Madume. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe down below and you'll get more content from me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you so, 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 so much, especially on this 100 days of finance. And speaking of that, we are at day 11 of 100 days of finance. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can understand your debt, how you can make your debt work for you by understanding the difference between good versus bad debt. This is very important in you reaching financial wealth because as soon as you understand what good debt is, you can make it work for you but with good debt. Good debt is debt that gives you growth, that helps you invest in your wealth, and it is debt that will help you over time. So examples of good debt, student loan, your mortgage, and a business loan. One fact about good debt, it is it usually has a low interest rate, and it is something that will help you with your financial situation in the future. So... What is bad debt? Bad debt is when you borrow money to buy things that decrease in value. Bad debt always comes with a high interest rate and it is debt that will make it hard for you to build wealth in the long term. Examples of bad debt are credit card debt and financing lifestyle expenses and payday loans. Neither of those things are going to help you build your Wealth, if anything, they're going to take away from your income to get to where you want to get to financially. Now you may ask yourself, then how do I identify good versus bad debt? These three things will help you identify good versus bad debt. Number one is, will it decrease over time in value? Number two is, is the interest rate too high? Number three will be, will it take away from my income for me to be able to uh, build wealth in the future or it will, will it add to that the next thing i want to talk about is how to manage both sets of debt so for good debt it was always important to keep on top of your payments never miss your payments i talk about this all the time i don't believe in missing payments because it will increase your interest rate it will increase uh, the amount of debt you're going to have to pay back so always make sure that you stay on top of your repayments with bad debt it is very very important that you prioritize paying off that debt so if it means you have to reduce your expenses you have to reduce your lifestyle choices so that you can pay off that bad debt please do and make a plan now so that you can get rid of that bad debt and it won't take away from your income and your savings in the long run. The truth is debt doesn't have to be a bad thing as long as you know how to manage your money, you know how to pay off your debt. It can be something that can add value to you, that can allow you to be able to have access to better options when it comes to your bank, your financial is financial institution and you growing your wealth. But the the main thing is always know when to take out debt, always know when you need it, when you don't and how to manage it. This takes time, this takes practice, this take you takes you learning about finance, like videos like this, how to identify your good debt, how to identify bad debt, how to pay it off and how to stay consistent and on top of your finances. It is very important that you learn these things so that in the long run, you can be able to make your money work for you and be able to build wealth it was all about time consistency and discipline those three things are your best friend when you know how to take care of your finances so this is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you found any value in it give me a thumbs up and if you want more content like this please subscribe and i will see you in tomorrow's video bye